In this particular video, I will explain to you how do you find out the prime and composite numbers from 1 to 100 using a method which was formed by a Greek mathematician known as Erastothenes. This method is very interesting and simple also. Although it takes some bit of a time, but it's pretty easy to understand. Now let us see how is this done. Now in the first lecture I told you that we know that number 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number. So we just darken it and remove it. Right? Then we come to the second prime number which is 2. We know that 2 is the prime number. Why? Because 2 is divisible or it has a factor which is only 1 and 2 itself. So it becomes a prime number. Now once 2 becomes a prime number then what follows is that every multiple of 2 will not be a prime number. Why? Let's say for example let's take 4. Okay. Now 4 is a multiple of 2, right? which means that 4 has a factor other than itself which is 4 and 1. Therefore, 4 cannot be a prime number. So, what we do is we simply cross out all the numbers which are multiple of 2. Right? So, let us say I do it here 4. 6 effectively 2 is a even number so all the even number goes away so effectively you will cut out all the even numbers from here rather let me just kind of cross this out because all these are going to be multiples of 2 right Having done this, in fact, let me just kind of cross it in a manner, so we know these are actually crossed out. Then we move on to the next one, which is 3. 3 again we know is a prime number, right? So we again cross out all the multiples of 3. 6, 3, 3 is a 9, so 9 goes off, 12, then 15 then 18, then 21, right, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, it's already gone, 51, 54, 57, 60 is gone, 63, 66 is gone, 69, 72 is gone, 75, 78, 81, 84, 87, 90, 93, 96, 99. Right? Then the next number is 5. So what happens to 5? 5 is a prime number or not? Yes, because 5 is again divisible by 5 only or 1. So then we cross out all the multiples of 5. Now it's easy. Multiple of 5 can either be 5, a number which has 5 in the end, which is all these numbers, right? Or something which has 0 in the end. Now that row is already gone. So effectively we've crossed out this row, we've crossed out this row, we've crossed out this row, this is also gone, this is also gone, right? Come, coming further, we get another number. 7. So 7 multiple is 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91, 98, 98 is already gone in any case. Okay, moving forward then we have 11. 11 multiple 
29. It's already gone. Let's say 13. 13 times 2 is 26, then 39, then 52, then 65, 78, 91. Well, all of them are already gone. 17 is again a prime number. So 17 into 2, 34. 3 times 51, 4 times 68, 5 times 85, 6 you don't need to do, 19, 19 times 2 is 38, 3 times is 57, 4 times 76, 5 times 95, 23, well it's another prime number which is there, right, 23 times 2 46, 23 times 3 69, then 23 times 4 is basically how much? 92 again gone 29 58 okay 87 all gone 31 another prime number right 31 62 and 93 all gone what is left 37 yes another prime number 37 times 2 is 74 which is already gone 41 2 times what 84 82 Again, okay, already gone. 43 into 286, even number gone. 47. Again, 2 times 94. 94 is an even number that would have been gone because 2 crossed out. Right? 53. Now, anything which is left after this is an even number. Why? Because if 53 is greater than 50, right? So if you multiply it by 2, the number has to be greater than 100. But we are looking at between 1 and 100. So 53, 59, 61, 71, 73, 83, 67, 79, 89, right? So you've got 11, 31, 41, 61 and 71 in the first row, then 2 in the second row, 3, 13, 23, 43, 53, 73 and 83 in the third row, nothing in the fourth row, only five in the fourth row, again nothing in the sixth row, then you have seven, seventeen, thirty-seven, forty-seven and sixty-seven, right, and ninety-seven also, we didn't pick this up, then you have nineteen, twenty-nine, fifty-nine, seventy-nine and eighty-nine. So all the numbers which are there in circled one are the prime number. And the cross numbers which are there are basically your composite number. Just to recapitulate the step, we know 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number, so we cross it out. Then we start picking each of the numbers and see whether it is a prime number or not by applying the rule that the factor of the number are 1 and itself. If any number is a prime number, we cancel out all its multiples and keep on moving until the time we reach 50 because any number after 50 which is left behind is only going to be a prime number if it is not crossed for the simple reason that the number into 2 is more than 100. Right? 